Hi everybody, I'm Nick from Salt Security. Here at Salt, we continue our mission to help everyone get smarter about API security. Today, I'm gonna to focus on the API attack landscape, including why threat actors are so focused on it and insights on how to protect yourself and your organization from API threats. We now live in an API first application design world. As a result, API production and consumption continue to skyrocket. APIs have become the backbone to today's digital economy. They power nearly every aspect of modern applications that both businesses and consumers rely on daily. That's the good. The bad, whether it be to exfiltrate data, take control of critical systems, or disrupt key business services or digital supply chains, threat actors have taken notice and view APIs as a new prosperous and ripe attack vector. It's no surprise that API risk is top of mind to many security professionals and executives today. But even with API security top of mind, we're still seeing cyber criminals finding success with this attack vector. Why is that? APIs present some new security challenges that threat actors are taking advantage of. Those challenges include a sprawling, always changing API attack surface with weak documentation and poor posture governance, unpredictable low and slow attack patterns that are difficult to detect with traditional technology defenses, and an inability to flush out all business logic flaws during automated testing cycles. These API security challenges have fueled the types of breaches we're seeing today, which typically fall into one of four API attack categories. They include lack of visibility or governance, abuse and misuse of APIs, business logic flaw exploitation, stolen credentials, and social engineering. Don't despair. There are things you can do to help minimize API security risk in your organization. First is education. It's important to understand how APIs are attacked so you not only can proactively design, develop, and deploy more secure APIs, but you can identify when an API is under attack and know how to respond. Two great resources for this are the OWASP API Top 10 List, which is a comprehensive guide to help organizations understand the risks and the threats associated with their APIs and how to secure them. And also the MITRE ATT&CK framework, as the behaviors of API threat actors frequently map to many of the TTPs outlined in the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Here at SALT, we recently released an OWASP API Security Top 10 eBook, and we also have an API threat-specific MITRE ATT&CK white paper, so be sure to check both of those out. Second is API governance. It is important to know where your APIs are in your organization, if they're documented, how they're used, what data in motion is linked to them, and the security posture of those APIs. It is crucial to take the time to create, document, and mandate corporate API posture governance policies. Third is applying the right technology to realize a sound API security strategy. A good API security strategy is twofold. First is the goal of quickly minimizing API risk without disrupting your ability to innovate and advance your business. Because of the challenges discussed earlier, you have to assume every API in production has some type of logic or posture vulnerability associated with it. And each API business logic flaw is essentially a zero day attack opportunity. This is where proper API runtime protection is key. The goal is to create a safety net to ensure that malicious API user intent will be detected and thwarted. Using purpose-built cloud-scale machine learning behavioral modeling and AI is a must when it comes to reducing risk now. The other important piece is understanding that API security is a team sport. And the whole security ecosystem, from developer tools, to testing platforms, to API gateways, to cloud and edge security platforms, should all be enriched with adaptive API intelligence in their respective disciplines to reduce risk. Want to learn more? We just released a new ebook designed to provide you with a better understanding of API attacks. It covers why API attacks are different and how you can stop them. I invite you to visit salt.security to download the new ebook and check out all of the other resources while you're there. Thanks everyone.